Hey, look who's back! The mysterious stranger. You know, I had a front row seat when you gunned down Vendix Starkiller. Best duel I've ever seen. If times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Bastila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Well, were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcas probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Calf. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? You have the serum? Impossible! How did you get this? No, it, wait, it, I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Hmm, let me see... Yes, this is it! A cure for the Rakgul disease! With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone! The people of Terras owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. You truly have a noble and generous spirit. But you deserve something for your effort. I tell you what, I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. It's the least I can do. That's very kind of you. We're just glad we're able to bring some relief to the suffering of these people. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. You blew it! If you'd brought that Rat Ghoul Serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. But no, you had to go and do the honorable thing. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city.
Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And the Republic chose to walk the easy path, rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibong ka sha chona si ichua biongbo joni tanga bok sha um nag nong kin kun shin shin kin mokau danya foki cha chiska do punta kakaspaka. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun. Tinku kapa topa no aska chinisko na kava abaka. Yes?
A plague spreads through our streets. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at anybody. Even our Sith patrols have come under fire. Ajuta, Wonga Kun Pistol Piking Kunyana. Shagji Kin Lord Jawa Tauma. Tony Pudu. Rana nu prata dunk no sercha. Mucha shag pangpa. Inkin kun no ba mulri rachi kun. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang inkotu. Tolba. Ajut. Tony. Mucha shag pangpa. Inkin kun no ba mulri raci kun. Takum jus tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Tong hai tuam jiji yu malith pa ang inko tu. Hey, I recognize you. You're the one who won the swoop race. You better be careful out here. Those damn vultures will be looking to get even with you for winning that race and killing Brezhik. On behalf of Gadden, I want to offer the thanks of all the hidden Vex. You rode like a true champion in the swoop race. I'm sorry Gadden can't be here to thank you in person, but he's retired to the safety of his private chambers. I'm afraid he's grieving over Brezhik's death. Brezhik violated the customs and traditions of Taris. He dishonored himself by refusing to honor his wager. He got what he deserved. Even Gadden has to realize that. Even so, I think Gadden hoped that somehow Brezhik could be made to realize the error of his ways. Despite everything he'd done, Gadden probably would have forgiven him. Gadden sounds like the kind of person who you'd want in charge down here. At least to me. But he isn't out of danger yet. The surviving Volkers will still want him dead. He's a prime target now. As are you. You better be careful out on the streets.
I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. But we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about anyone breaking into the military base yet, so I know you don't have those departure codes. If you want me to help you, you've got to bring something to the table. So until you get those codes, we really don't have much to talk about. Glad to hear it. I'll be waiting right here. I'm here. Sure. Cavadumpa Kapalia Monapata? Kinkunshi Kaikachin Awana Wamata Bonana Kachu Kicha Badwang Wanga Kum Kiba Bul Mulera Kakin Chak Nawagawa Bagon Yes. Yep. Ah! <laughs> 
I'm here. What? Down you go! Ready? I'm here. Sure. What? What can I do? Sure. Sukiku I'm here. Sure. What? On it. Damn! What can I do? What? Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. How can I help? Then I suggest we... How can I help? The surface of Terrace is covered with an urban skyscrape. Its glittering spires belie the decay that lies in its lower reaches, however. Beyond that, there is little else I can tell you. Then I suggest we move on. Ready? I'm here. What? Uh. Let's go!
there. Down you go! What can I do? What? Yes, what's... Yes? I heard I bet. I heard I bet. What? Uh huh. Yes. Yes? I'm here. Ready? Yes? I'm here. Ready? What? Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the Dark Side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Ha! 
There, take that. Yes? You shall fall. Uh-huh. Yes? What? Sure. Yes? Uh-huh. Sure. I'm here. Sure. 